This is Ibrahim Malouf. He sits between two worlds. He was born in Beirut, Lebanon, but he grew up in France. I consider myself as uh, Western, European, and Arabic. And those cultures have very different music. My father used to play us music in Um Kultum's voice every single night before we go to sleep since I was very, very, very young, like a baby. Until I, actually, until I discovered Michael Jackson, I guess. And I, start, I started to say, okay, wait, wait a second. You know how popular Michael Jackson was? Um Kulthum was an even bigger phenomenon in the Arabic-speaking world. Entire cities shut down when she sang on the radio. Even after her death in 1975, her voice lives on across the Arab world. You know, when you listen to Um Kulthum's concerts, you can hear people saying, wow. They completely expressed the, the, this nirvana, so. Ibrahim wanted to translate Um Kulthum's voice to his instrument, the trumpet. He's played it with rock stars, at the opera, and in jazz clubs. He even studied with one of France's greatest classical virtuosos. One challenge, though. Basically, the trumpet, um, does not exist at all in the Arab uh, music. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. So check this out. There are 12 tones in Western music. But in Arabic music, there are tones between the tones. They're called quarter tones. So you, you like divide everything so that one octave is not 12 half notes, but it's 24 quarter notes. We don't really use quarter tones in the Western world, at least not on purpose. And trumpets aren't built to play them. And uh, my father, as a trumpet player, one of his purposes was uh, to really be able to play Arabic music on trumpets. So uh, he, he got the idea of uh, adding an extra valve on the trumpets that allows him to actually play the, the, the exact quarter tone. So, so it makes it much easier. Ibrahim's father basically hacked his trumpet so it could play those hidden tones. But having the tools for the job doesn't mean you can do it. So when you play Arabic music, he, he, he really taught me that, uh, that you have to actually blow in the instrument the way you sing. I would do the same. Ibrahim's new project adapts Um Kothum's 1001 Nights for a jazz quintet. Yet again, Ibrahim's in the middle, between a Western instrument and an Arabic voice, between Paris and Beirut, even between the notes of a scale. In a way, that's the story of his life. I, I would like people to have the feeling that they don't understand where is the Arabic of it and where is the jazz of it, but it's like a real mix. It's not, it's not just I'm putting Arabic identity and jazz identity together, I'm, I'm trying to create a new one. If you like to hear Ibrahim's piece, check out this concert on our radio show. Check your local listings or visit npr.org slash jazznight. Shedding, chops, radaricious, you dig? This video is about jazz slang, baby. Dig it. Sometimes it seems like jazz cats have their own language, and their words are always winding up in other people's mouths. 